Well, welcome to CSC, Cars, Shops, and Collections. And today is our first ever follow-up episode. We're back in Boulder City, and we're gonna go see Mike. He owns Collector's Dream Cars out here. And the last time we saw Mike was episode 37, and he had a split window Corvette, needed a lot of work. Well, that split window is done, and he's got it ready for us to see. Yeah, Mike, so it's done. It's, uh, my, all of Mike's cars are for sale. So Mike is selling it, he's got it listed online. We're gonna figure it shoot up and see it before someone buys it because this is uh, one of the most iconic American muscle cars out there. And that's according to Dennis Collins from Coffee Walk. And if Dennis says it's the most iconic, it's the most iconic. All right, here we go. Oh, he's got it out front. He's got it out front for us. Whoa, oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Mike. Dude, this is spectacular, man. Holy cow. This is amazing, man. Oh my gosh. Mike, man, thanks for having us again. Appreciate it, buddy. Coming back. I'm excited that this thing is done here because we saw this was back in December. Uh, it needed some work. You got it done. First off, what's the backstory on it? How did you find this car? Okay, so we were at a car show and a guy came by and asked me if he wanted to, if I wanted to buy his 56 COV truck. Okay. And I said, yeah, we'll look at it. He said, by the way, while we're out there, you're, you, I have a split window Corvette and you could look at that too, but I'm, I'm gonna give that to my kids. About a month and a half later, he, he walked into the store and says, my kids don't want my split window Corvette. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and yep, we ended up buying it from him. And, uh, and uh, yeah, right, and he lives in a storage container in Northern Arizona. This is where we found the 63 sport split window vet in Golden Valley, Arizona, by the man that has owned this car since August of 1963. And we are about ready to shoot the scene here with Chuck. And his name is uh, Up Chuck because he's highly alive. But you'll see here that he lives in storage containers. Split window, one of the most iconic muscle cars out there. They built a, less than 2,600 of these, okay? And the reason why they only built it for one year is because the split window was actually very unsafe. You mm -hmm. can't see out the back. And, uh, and so they changed it to 64. And in fact, a lot of people that had these cars in 63 had the, the middle part of it removed. As it turns out, it is the oldest uh, bet, it's the best year of uh, a collectible of a Corvette, the uh, uh, Stingray body style fastback, but it's the oldest, most rarest car that's the, of the Corvette family that you have with the only 2600. And this is a uh, one owner and it's one of the very first ones and you can tell by underneath the car with the fiberglass. One of the early builds of the 63 the Early Sparina. builds of the, of, the, of, the, of the car. Backside, so this, it, it's almost like the spine of the car. Oh, it's the spine down of a Stingray, here, yeah. The V-shape back here, it's like a Stingray. So it, you're it's looking built at like the back a Stingray. Of the stingray. They, this was the car they came out with that named it this car a Stingray, and it's the only car that they have that had the Stingray split right through the middle. Now, Mike, you were saying too, some people took this out, because you look yes. in their rear view mirror, yes. you can't see, 
dealerships were doing this back in 1963, yep, yep, 19, but they right didn't know. 63, 64, you don't know That's what right. the future right. holds. Yep. So they're getting it taken out and they're putting the window in. Yep. And also some people were taking the 64s yep. and doing, and putting the split in there to make yeah, it look like this. Well, they try to do that now. Really? <laughs> they try to do that now, really? yeah, and make fake split yeah. windows. But look, you know, the, the, fact, of the, matter, the fact of the matter is it's like wearing a fake Rolex. Yeah. It doesn't get by too fast. So um, the this, this split window is the, the highest and the mo open. most demand Corvette. Can I pop it open? Yeah, oh, yeah. Pops right open. How do you, I mean, how do you in the, even today, put gas in this thing without spilling gas on the back of your car? Okay, um, first of all, uh, that is a, that's a trick, okay? Yeah, it is, right? When you own one of these things, you, it takes us some uh, uh, time to get used to that. But this car also has one of the largest gas tanks, which is, it's called a tanker. And that, that's unique to this car because it added the fuel range. It was, it was made for the thought of maybe long distance driving and, and uh, racing. It also has the factory, factory knockoff wheels. These are from the factory, and we have the hammer just inside here that's used, I'll show you right here, so that's used to, to knock them off. Those are original. They are not, they are not replicas. You're gonna bang this to get it to come off, and the fact that these are originals, look at the two, the red, white, and blue. So the thought, the thought and is when you're ready. the hammer that came with it? This is the hammer that comes with it. <laughs> that's the 1963 tell. hammer. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's really neat. And, and, and you can see it gives you directions, but yeah, to, yeah. to turn it, knock it off, you hit it this way. I'm not gonna no, do it. No, don't knock it. <laughs> but yeah, that's why you put them on and off. But that's the attention to detail you have with all your cars. You got yeah. the hammer yes. to knock the wheels off. Yes, and you know, it's a certain amount of luck too. <laughs> <laughs> Can I open it up? Absolutely. So we saw this back in December and there was a lot of work that needed to be done yeah. on the inside of it. Yeah. What did you do? Why don't you slide in there, Gene? What did you do to the interior of this? Uh, air conditioning was a big part of it. Um, we put the we put all new gauges in them, and what you do to refresh in these cars is you try to keep oh. the original genre of the car. Yeah. But but and 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 so selection of these gauges are very very important. You can see we have 117 miles on the car since we since we've uh, restored it. So these are obviously, so you're saying these are all new, but period correct gauges for the car. Yeah, it's, they're, 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 they're genre correct. They look off that. Yeah. Out. You see what I'm saying? So they are new gauges and all, and that is the original uh, clock because that's special. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they're all uh, uh, new gauges that fit the car. Uh, of course, it comes with the disc, we put power disc brakes in it um, and air conditioning. Because too, at these, um if you find a 63 that came with factory AC, that's even more rare. Because like 275 it's of them or something. Impossible. Yeah, to find it. That's the yeah, rarest of it's rare. it's almost impossible. I mean, I'm sure there was some built, but the, what's in today is having these cars built so they're fun to drive mm -hmm. and, and, and comfortable. To yeah. So, you know, we, we live here in the desert, so. We, they're out there, too. You can find them. Nevada Classics has a couple of originals. You can find the original ones out there, yep. but I love what you do with it, especially we all saw the condition yep. of what it was in when you got it. You're really lucky to, to find a split window anyway. Yeah. It, it, uh, there's some, time, some people may never, ever actually see one. <laughs> this, this is the original radio here? That is original. Oh, no, that is a that is a original radio, yes. So the, this is the FM, AM. Gene, check yep. this out right here. So the AM right here, watch when you slide it down. Yep. No, it, it switches over to the FM. That is such a cool thing on these split windows. AM, I love that. I can do this all day. And it slides over to the FM. And these gauges here are original here? Yes. All that's original. Now, one of the things that we do is that um, the person that buys this, since the stereo is pretty um, personal, mm -hmm. we, we, we put in whatever stereo he wants as, as uh, so it's got, you're going to have, whoever buys it's going to have Bluetooth, it's going to have sure. uh, uh, all the amenities of a new car. The, uh, could we, Break down the engine, which you guys did up front here. And two, um, Dennis Collins, Coffee Walk. Love the show, I think Dennis is, he's a genius when he comes to cars. And he's, his, he had, he just bought a 63. And he's saying that this is, this is they're always been hot, but the market for these is growing even more. Well, it's even hotter right it's now. It's even hotter, and I, and I think a lot of it is because the economy is terrible. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, there's, there's things that are going on right now, and everybody knows that you go back to the staples and Fortunately, I guess for my, my sake, but fortunately, um, uh, collector cars have been a great investment. Yeah. F to hold their value and go up in value, they don't ever go down. And, uh, and uh, something like a split window or something that's rare like this, it never goes down. It's, it, it just goes up. Yeah. yeah.
So um, that is a completely rebuilt Chevy 350, um, bought out to a 383. That is not the original engine, and it's been upgraded. It has been put uh, fuel injection and a uh, electronic ignition. What that really means, and, this, and, and, this, and, a, and an enhanced uh, uh, cooling system, what that really means is that the car runs to a, uh, a, a new car standard, mm -hmm. and, it, and it has a lot of um, performance built into it. This car really kind of hauls ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I actually got to start off in second gear on this car, because first gear is jumpy. You just go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The headlights work just fine? For, yeah, everything works. Yeah, except the clock. I, we, you got to get this part for the uh, clock. So one thing I did notice is that the, uh, the vents, the cookie sheet vents are not here. Do you have them? Yes, we do. Um, yeah, we have just to uh, put the, uh, the grates in here. Okay. So that's, that's, they have these little drain things and they just fit right on the inside. They slide right in there. And, and those, those, those um, cookie sheet vents, they're just for show. Yeah, they're just for show. They're they don't actually, show. yeah, they don't do actually anything. do anything. Yeah. But the original design was they wanted them to do something. They right. wanted them there because yeah. you open this thing up, well, you're gonna get, you're gonna get yeah. some lift on it. It was letting out the pressure. Um, but then engineering, you can't have vents here that are open because you're going to get the rust and water inside there. You just can't do it. Probably could. It probably was more of a money thing than yeah, anything. Sure. Yeah, good point. <laughs> probably a product thing. Remember, this is fiberglass. It isn't metal. So it's, it, it, it's produced differently mm -hmm. than a metal. Metal is stamped. Fiberglass is probably more like rolled, I would bet you. You know, and, and uh, but who knows? Uh, it wasn't until, it, for two years, um, uh, regular Color paint could not fit on a Corvette. It was all Corvettes were white. Did okay. you know that? No, I did not. 53 and 54, all Corvettes were white because only white was the, the color of paint that could actually stick to fiberglass. Okay. And Corvette has been fiberglass since the day it was born. Yeah. Not one day has it been anything other. Than That's a trip. So those early edition ones are all nothing but white. Yeah. Yeah. So they, so they, white was what color uh, what covered it. If you wanted a Corvette in any other color than white, you weren't able to get it. You're on your own on that one. You're on your own. What are the odds of, of going for a ride? Is that easy oh, to we do? For, yeah, let's do it. Let's go for a ride? Let's yeah. do it. All right. No backseat, Gene. All right. The new gauges look really, I mean, they look fantastic. But yeah. I love how you still have, you know, the old ones here, yeah. the originals, and the original clock, too. Yeah, and you got to keep it all the same time. Yeah, you know? uh-huh. Then you start seeing maybe LED on there. It's <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, turn it off. The original steering wheel? Yes. Yeah, this, this is the C2 body style. And um, really, you know, this is probably the most loved body style I've had of all body styles of Corvette. First year of the C2, right? 63? Oh, is there a volume on this? Turn that down. Oh, perfect. Yeah, just we get picks up on it. This thing just wants to jump. Yeah, early. it does. It really it's does. Really fast. It wants to go, it man. It wants to go. That's this all the way it wants. wants to go. It just wants to roll. It's got a sniper fuel injection system, yeah. which is, I mean, they're, they're, uh, they're actually quite amazing, but uh, they, uh, just, they just want to run. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, it does. But it's got, there's like a hood that you oh, build yeah. up this hood. It's the just, hood is cool. Yeah, it's the best hood. Just shut the back there. Yeah, this is cool. You know what's cool about these cars, once again, is that the new Corvettes are really neat. Uh -huh. But it, if you show up at the casino, oh yeah, you're gonna, those cars are going to get parked downstairs. When they're, you're parking gonna, this front, right? they're parking this out front, right? They're parking this out front. Yeah. Awesome. Woo! <laughs> First ever ride in a split window Corvette. And Mike, you did not disappoint, buddy. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, man. Thank you.
This was a this was a thrill, man. This is an absolute thrill, and uh, it's for sale. You're watching it. You want to buy it? Contact Mike. Yep. He's one of the very few owners of a split window Corvette. A really nice one. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Thanks for coming out. All right, I'm gonna walk around. Thanks, buddy. All Appreciate right. it, man. If you want your car, shop, or collection featured on the show, then shoot us an email at cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. That's cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections.